their invincibility. Well, Kevin Durant's playing. Nobody in the West is beating this basketball team. I want to give props to the teams in the East, like the Toronto Raptors and the Bucks in particular. Hopefully they can push the Warriors. But him being out, I think, allowed them to go back to their original roots. When, when, Clay, when Steph plays and KD doesn't, they're 27 and 1. That's crazy. He's okay. heard the chatter about it being KD's team. They've heard the chatter about KD possibly leaving. So you know what they do? They like, all right, if that's the case, we're going to go out and ball and show him and show the world we can still win without him. That's so fair. based on those dynamics, they don't need to rush him back. I think they're confident regardless. I mean, that's a good record, but is that a record with playoff basketball? No, it's uh, regular season regular included. Season. So that's something to keep an eye on. You yeah, agree? Uh, to, well, to, I, to, to me, the, the thing is, and you talk about them being vulnerable, it just speaks to, and I, 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 we never had the kind of success that this Warriors team has had, but I've been to the finals twice in a row, and the regular season gets boring. <laughs> they were bored. Now you see them turn it up a little bit in the playoffs, in, the, in these playoffs, and Steph go get zero points in the first half and almost 40 in the second half. I mean, they're playing for something now. And that always is a, just a different beast. So to me, I still feel like, you know, they're the best team out there. Um, we'll see if KD comes back healthy. Right. But they're going to need them to come back healthy. So you feel like if KD doesn't play a couple of games in this series, that Portland can win? I do, I do, I do. Because I think it's <laughs> closer than you think. Because for one, I think the back courts are a wash. And the one thing that Portland, I can hear America right now writing this down, Paul. I mean, <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> you know to Damon Lillard. Damon Lillard was a first team All NBA player a year ago. Yep. You know, that'll be stepped this year. So these guys are neck and neck when we talk about talent and scoring. CJ McCollum has played like an all star. Fair. Clay Thompson is an all star. So it's not. They're not far off from each other. Now, the, top difference, two. the difference is going to be the role players. Now, if KD didn't play and Rodney Hood would have been in this game the way he, he's he been playing, I would have favored the Portland Trail Blazers. But since Warriors have home court advantage, it can go either way. I, but, okay, wait. So we just know. came off of this Houston series, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, the one that you guys all said Houston was going to win, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> that being said. So they were going to win that game. Okay, sure. By the way. What? does Portland have that's different that will pose some sort of a problem to this Warriors team? Structure. Mm. Structure. Um, the Houston Rockets, they play isolation like pretty much pick up basketball and just shoot threes the entire game. This Portland Trailblazer team, they have structure. They move the ball strong side to weak side. They move their bodies. They move, you know, they run plays actually. Defensively, they have concepts. They have principles. They make adjustments as opposed to Houston. And this is no shade at Houston. This is just the truth. They just switch everything on defense, and they just run isos on offense. To me, that's no real way to play. This Rockets, excuse me, this Trailblazers team, they play the exact opposite. How about this, Bees? And Paul just touched on it. They have two guys that can get their own shot and score 40 tonight, <laughs> and they're not afraid of the moment. Regardless of pick and roll, they can do it in the half court. They can do it in transition. They can do it against bigger defenders. They can do it shooting. Mid-range, as CJ proved in the previous games, and they both are fearless. And when you have two guys like that, they become wild cards, especially one of those guys who's born and raised here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dame Lillard has his highest points per game average against any team is the Golden State Warriors. Do we have an X factor for Portland? You know, to me, and I, I, like Paul said, I, I'm not sure of how healthy Rodney Hood is. He would have right. been my obvious guy. But Evan Turner is a guy who stepped up Game seven, okay. played really big in Denver. Ten they depended on him. When If they start trapping Dame and CJ, he's a guy that can, can, can make plays, you know, if he gets the ball in his hands. So they're going to need him to make some plays if this guy Rodney I Hood think it's Ennis Cantor. I really think he has to have that's an fair. inside presence. You know, that's one of the holes that Golden State has is you got to be able to take advantage of offensive rebound, which he does well, which he does great. You got to take advantage of his post presence. He's a guy you can throw the ball into and he can get you a bucket. So if he can get out there and give them great minutes, I'm talking about 18 and 12, which he is capable of doing in this series, he can be a real X factor moving forward. I'm talking about I'm just the type of X factor that can get them over the top. I'm worried about how many minutes he can play. 
You got Enos Cantor out there. He's a poor defender. You, you're going to put him in pick and rolls. All day. Pin down situations. I'm not sure how much he's going to be able to play in the series, Paul.